Morning, Bonnie. Morning. What are you up to? I'm prepping for our adventure. With my plastic bag. And what's our, <laughs> what's our adventure? What's our adventure? We're driving from Changu to Ubud mm -hmm. and Ubud to Munduk. Munduk? Yeah, I think it's Munduk. Munduk. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. And then what are we doing now? Uh, we're going to go to Matcha Cafe, stock up on our favourite breakfast. Mm -hmm. Caffeinate, go. I love it. Yeah. Just get rid of those undies. <laughs> One of the favourite things we like to do is get coffee in the mornings. Pretty much. Yeah. And then we just like to talk about life. Yeah. And mm. we love it so much that we're going to get a tattoo of it. Yeah. <laughs> we, have this, we have this really weird thing um, where, oh, actually it's not that weird. We call each other a nickname called Froze or Fro. Yeah. And basically it started from when I was growing my hair long and the sides of my hair grew really curly. You can see them. Show the froze. They're all the froze. They're froze. Yeah, I'm coming to terms with them. I'm coming to terms <laughs> with them. Um, and then, so we want to get a little tattoo called Coffee Chats with the Froze. Yeah. We're doing it. And you just want to get fro. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So we're about to have Coffee Chats with the Froze. <laughs> it's going to be a thing. Yes. Yes. And you can do it yourself. Coffee Chats with the... With your Whoever you call someone evening. or your friend or whatever you want to do. <laughs> Advice for the day. All right. So, Bonnie? We've stopped over because, let's be honest, my bum's sore. Tom has a sore ass. Yep, had a big night last night. <laughs> Please, it's, it's not what it was. Uh, we're about 22 minutes outside of Ubud. I'm not actually wearing a helmet. For those that know me, there's nothing in there apart from a big watermelon. And uh, yeah, any comments so far, my dear? No, just a sore ass. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I think you can see it there. Behind me you should see like a snake. So I'm just at the entrance of the monkey forest. You should see kind of like a snake down there on the ground. And then behind me after that, we're walking through the two big pillars into the monkey forest. And what that essentially means is a snake. Yes, very true. <laughs> but in terms of mythology, the snake is the representation of the temporal world. So it's stuck because it can't walk. It's stuck to the ground in time and space. And when we move beyond the snake, we enter into the world of the eternal, into spirituality and all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna be going in. It's literally like my mum used to get all the lice out of my hair, except she, you know, she only ate it a few times. Yep. That's a view. <laughs> that is hilarious. There's so many. Look at this one. Mum. I'm here.
How was your day? Amazing. Amazing! We woke up, <laughs> went to Sprout Cafe, had our breakfast, and then coffee, and then we went to... With the pros. Coffee with the pros, and then we yes. went to Uber. Yes. I have to say, if you are ever in Bali and you happen to find yourself in Ubud, you have to go to the Monkey Forest. It was spectacular. Yeah. Was really so spectacular. Fun. Yeah, really fun. One of the uh, one of the monkeys climbed on my back <laughs> and uh, assaulted me, but yep. it was consensual, so it was more just like play fun. Yeah, true. <laughs> tried to rob us. Yes. Yeah. Lots of photos, as you've uh, photos and videos as you've seen, and now we're on the beach. Watch the, the sun. Sunset. Can we turn it so they can see? Yeah, we'll be out. We'll show all this. We'll show all this. So stunning. So that was our day, guys. We yeah. hope you enjoy, and um, we'll see you soon.